Hey there, it's me, your friendly neighborhood and humble stroke assaulter. Well, this is an update to the update about the stroke team. I went to see the stroke team. I went to see the stroke team yesterday. Uh, good news. They gave me a return to work date, so it'll be December 28th. Um, figure going back to work right before the Christmas stress stupidity is probably not the best thing, so I'm going to hold off on that and head back to work after Christmas. Um... Won't be able to do a full-time schedule right off the hop. I'm going to start out at maybe two or three hours a day and then gradually work that back into full-time. Um, the goal, February, I'm back full-time at some point in, in or by the, by the mid or end of February, right? So don't know what that's going to look like. I'll be quite honest about that, but that is my goal to get back to full-time by the end of February. Um, very anxious about going back to work um mainly because as i've told you all before and the people that happen to know me i had my stroke at work um i'm very anxious about proving i'm not that jiggling ball of jello on the floor that i'm not ineffective um i was in the top 10 percent of all agents for the past two years and i kind of want to be able to prove i can do that again um, I know some people don't have the ability to understand what I've been through, um, and will be patronizing because I've experienced that, um, from a few people that I work with. Um, I just know they're horrible humans and never trust them again. <laughs> uh, so... What does it come down to when you finally get that permission to return to work? And I'll be honest, there are some people in the stroke community that you're never going to get that permission. Or you're not going to be able to go back to the job from which you had your stroke, um, even if you didn't have it at work. Um, so that is a distinct possibility that you're not going to be able to go back to work. Um what's that going to look like for you? I, I don't know. What's it going to look like for me? I honestly don't know. Um, from talking with people at my either physical in-person stroke group or the online stroke groups through Facebook, such as um, Young 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 Stroke Survivors, uh, which is meant for people under, I believe, 55 uh, that have had stroke. Well, I'm prepared to be egregiously tired um, from going back to work. Um, right now I'm only good for four to five hours of activity in a day and then I'm spent, absolutely just spent. I'm, I'm, I'm not that productive. So I'm going to have to learn to get back to that level of productivity. Um, I'm going to have to learn to get back to that level of physical ability. Luckily, I've learned a lot about how my stroke has impacted me over the past four and a bit months and specifically over the past three weeks, like the sunglasses, right? So when I'm under fluorescent lights, I kind of have to wear these or I just turn into an unadulterated mess. Um, I'll let you know how it goes as, as it happens to happen. Um, Cause the great thing about strokes is strokes are messy and we don't know what we don't know. So, It'll be interesting to see what happens when I'm able to go back to work and, and, and actually get back to work. Um, it'll be interesting to see what I'm able to do, how I'm able to do it. Um, I'm still going to have some limitations. Um, again, I'm still considering a cane or a walking stick for really bad days. Um, I'm still on the fence about a support animal. I'd need funding for that somehow, I think. Um, I'm... My memory is a little bit wonky, so I'm going to have to write stuff down from time to time just to be able to remember it. Um, I'm going to... I get balance issues at times, which the great news is when I had my conversation with my neurologist, he said the majority of my issues um, that I'm experience, experiencing will resolve organically within 
one to two years of the stroke because one, I am fairly physically fit. Two, I'm not fat. Three, my BMI is decent. It's a little bit on the high side, but decent. Um, my cholesterol, my blood pressure are great. The only thing he did do is change some medications around, um, mainly because the side effects of one of the medications was could be negative. Um, so I just changed medications today, so it'll take a week or so to get used to that. But my balance issue, that should resolve itself organically um, with a lot of activation, walking, treadmill, elliptical, um, at the gym, uh, I'm allowed to go to the gym with the only restriction, no grunting. Yeah, insert not, naughty joke there. So, like, if I'm going to lift weights, no more than 80 pounds, right? Um, and that's basically, I don't want to increase the um, cranial blood pressure because that could have bad things happen. Um, other other situations, such as my balance, um, the anxiety will lessen over time. I just got to sort of get through it, so to speak. Um, so, I still have, oh, one thing, uh, my brain really hates incongruent or out of context events. It, it still doesn't know how to process that. Um, not uncommon for the type of stroke I had. Uh, so, again, in time, just, just dealing in the world, that will lessen. Um, the fatigue, again, uh, because of the medical appointment I have in a week, that medical appointment should help with the fatigue and the anxiety and the sleeplessness. I'm still having very disrupted sleep. And that's just a thing. There's nothing really I can do about that until I get the new medication. So, basically, what is it that I expect? Well... I expect to get back to work and, and try to get back on path and track for where I was as if it was the day before the stroke. That has always been my goal, to get back to work and get back to the position where I was th as if the stroke never happened. Um, that's going to require time, patience. Uh, it's going to require some accommodation from people, some understanding from people. Um, I, I appreciate that not everyone can understand how disenfranchising this entire experience can be. Um, I still, two, two of the biggest things that I find very patronizing are, are, you look good. Well, you look really good. Well, I wasn't in a fucking car accident, so of course I look good. Um... You know, physically, there's never been anything wrong with me, uh, except for the first week or two after the stroke where my walking was screwed up and my speech was screwed up, and I had a bit of tremors on my right hand. Um, so physically, you know, I've always looked good. There's never been anything wrong with my physical presentation, with well, the exception of bad hair. You know, again, thanks, Dad. I comb my hair. My dad has been bugging me that, hey, why don't you comb your hair before your videos? Well, I, I combed my hair. So, um... The other thing um, I find patronizing is when people try to tell me they know what I've gone through and they've never had a stroke. Well, no, you have no idea what I've gone through. You, you don't have a clue. Um, I, I appreciate there will be people that'll, that'll attempt to mean well um, and they'll be patronizing about it. Oh, you look great. You know what? I know what you've been through. Well, fuck you. No, you don't know what I've been through, and I've never not looked very physically disheveled. And the period when I did look very physically disheveled, you probably didn't see me then. You know? Um, you know? So, I, I have a lot of anxiety about going back to work, but then again, it's because I had my stroke at work. Um, I'm waiting to get back into counseling because of that and then I'll be able to put that piece to bed uh, and then by end of February I expect to be back to work full-time right honestly I wish it could be different I wish I had the ability to function normally at the level I could before the stroke and just go back to work full-time and just be done with it but that's that's just not a reality 
Uh, that is not just a physical reality. There's just no way that's ever going to happen. At least not right now. Maybe by June, um, one year after the stroke, I can tell you, yeah, you know what? The world's a better place, and I'm functioning exactly where I was as if the stroke never happened. But that's going to take time. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stumble, and there are going to be pitfalls. And I'm going to have to learn to deal in my new normal, as much as I still hate that phrase. But the advantage is I'm going back to work. Right? And I, I'm completely, I appreciate and I'm cognizant and I'm mindful that not everyone will get the ability to either return back to work at all or return back to work from the job in which they had the stroke at that time. Right? So um, one of my new friends on Facebook, she's in my young stroke group. Uh, she's a nurse. Uh, she was able to go back to work. She needs some accommodations like me. She needs to wear sunglasses because of the fluorescent lights. But she's gone back to work and she's, you know, doing what she needs to do to be successful. Um, and I applaud her for that. Uh, I, I intend to do the same. It'll just it'll just take me a little bit longer than anybody else. right? Uh, and on that note, I think I'm going to do a uh, that goal setting video that I've been kind of meaning to do, but I keep putting off. And then uh, I'm going to do um, the Bullshit Aloma video shortly. Um, unfortunately, I still can't figure out how to edit videos. And again, this is I've tried different programs, but I just can't seem to find one that my brain likes. So um, anyways, uh, I will you know put up the, the Bullshit Aloma video shortly. Or maybe Q is for quackery. Um, and... Basically, all I want to say is I get to go back to work, and I'm, I'm extremely happy I get to go back to work. I'm grateful that I go get to go back to work. I recognize that I'm, I'm lucky. Um, I recognize that at, at various steps during this endeavor, I've been lucky. From going to work that day, because I'd considered not going to work, right, to having my stroke starting to have my stroke in front of someone that I know, and, and they know me very well, um, to um, the ambulance showing up within minutes, right? Um, I don't know exactly how many minutes, but within minutes, um, to being taken to the local neurotrauma unit with lights and sirens running, you know, uh, a car ride that might normally take 20 minutes did not take 20 minutes, um, to seeing the neurologist immediately as I got off the ambulance on, on, on the gurney, um, and, and he hadn't even been officially called yet, he just happened to be tripping through a merge, um, to, you know, being given the TPA um, within 45 minutes of getting into the hospital, like, to, you know, really good friends and, and my family, you know, being supportive, um, well, for the most part, um, and then, you know, I've, I've been fairly lucky in my recovery because I've been very motivated to get back to work, right, um, for various reasons. So anyways, I'm going to land the plane now because we're creeping up on the 50-minute mark. Land the plane, um, it's a term we use at work for, you know, just, just get to the point. <laughs> Finish it up, sum up. So if you like what you've been watching over the last you know, four and a bit months, please like, share, subscribe with your friends, leave comments down below. If you want to ask me a question directly, but you don't want to leave it in the comments, you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Um, and I, I answer all comments, you know, any questions, if there's any co content you want to see me cover, please let me know, uh, and I'll do my best to cover it. Um, and, you know, if you happen to be one of the stroke folk, either you are a stroke assaulter and you're trying to get to the objective post-stroke, or you're part of the stroke assaulter support team, um, the yeomanry, uh, you know, and, you know, share that with them. And if you've got any questions, please, comments, share them down below. And if you happen to notice, either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, um, and that could be things like facial droop. It could be the inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all. It could be the inability to smile equally effectively or at all. It could be um, speech problems, stuttering, slurred speech, 
um, stammering, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, um, please, immediately, it could be um, inability to stand, unaided, general body weakness, weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.